Hello, my name is Beth Gellert and I'm here to welcome you to my very first Let's Play series. I spawned on this world a little while ago and as you've seen from that opening sequence I've cracked on a bit and I've got my usual start-up routine well and truly underway. So the plan now is to have a little look around this place with you guys and have a chat and a think about what my plans are for this world and for this series. So I'm a builder. I'm, I'm no redstone wizard. Um, I've made some small contraptions in the past, but this, this is mostly going to be a survival buildy type series. I'm playing in Minecraft 1.10. I've, uh, I've not used it much. I had a bit of a go on 1.9, but uh, I've been playing mostly 1.7.10 um, because I've been playing a lot of modded, really. And I thought with the new release, I might as well go vanilla, go survival, no cheating, no creative, no spoiling things for myself with mapping tools. Um, I'm just going to have a look around, I'm going to build, and I'm going to see what I can come up with. And really, what I want to end up with, um, if I'm honest, is a large number of interconnected towns, villages, um, settlements, that kind of thing. But I don't want to get too ambitious too quickly. So for now, that's a really nice mountain, by the way. I think I'm going to use it. I want to have a look over there. Um, but I want to see what's over that hill first. Um, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to start small. I'm going to build a village. Um, and I'm really, I want to get away from the, the notion you get really stuck on when you're doing modded is having a base. Um, you know, and you have like, this is my main room. And then down here, I've got, this is where my smelting room is. And this is where my quarry stuff comes in. Um, but in vanilla, I tend to kind of go the same way. Um, there's just lots of woods over here. And I really, I want to get out of that. I want to build a town where if I want to smelt something, I go to the blacksmiths and do it. And if I want to enchant something, I go to the library and do it. So lots of small buildings, um, some of them will be purely cosmetic, uh, but a lot of them will have their specific function and, uh, and, and that's kind of where I'm going with it. Now, my building style, uh, if you like, my method, I don't plan things. Uh, I never have really been much of a planner when it comes to building. I really don't do much building in creative and then recreate it in survival. I get very, very bored building the same thing twice. Um, but, yeah, I have been known to dabble a bit in creative as well. I really like this area. I think we might start here. So, and then, yeah, and then the, the sort of village can spread out across this plain. Um, and that's got a lot to do with what I'm trying to spit out here. I, I tend not to have an idea of what I want to build until I've seen where I'm going to be building it. Um, most of my builds are kind of landscape driven, landscape inspired. Um, and yeah, so I don't really know what, what's going to come of it. I've got a few building styles in mind that might work in this area. Um, but I don't want to get too pinned down until I see what resources I've got readily available. Uh, and things can change. You know, if, uh, if I'm stuck with cobble and wood for uh, the first few buildings, then so be it. I can always change them to fancy quartz things later if I want to. Um, but for today, what I'd like to get done is some kind of mine entrance that looks, you know, like it's useful and maybe a little bit pretty, uh, and, and some kind of uh, shelter for the night that could be associated with the mine. So I'm looking at this, I'm thinking going in here would be really quite nice, but I wasn't banking on there being a river in the way, so I'm going to have to have a think about that. Um, while I do that, why don't you have a look at this? I'm going to jump into a creative world and uh, give you an example of what I mean by the landscape inspiring my build. So uh, I'll be right back. OK, so here we are in creative world. And this is what I'm trying to explain. I built this 
because I wanted to try a new style. I wanted to try this broken up, ragged, ruined style of building. But I didn't have a particular structure in mind until I came over here. And I saw these two hills, this one here, coming up into this one here, and it's on the border of a desert. So I, borders, hmm, maybe a gatehouse, we'll see, maybe a wall with a gate, um, something like that. And then I came over here and I saw these three ponds and it was just dried up moat. That was it. It's all I could see was a dried up moat along this border between the desert and the forest. So that kind of dictated that this would be a gatehouse um, with a bridge. And that's what happened. This is what came out of it. Uh, I ended up being actually really pleased with it. I would make some changes to the roof. But so really, I suppose what I'm trying to say is for me, the building doesn't dictate the landscape. And you'll see over here uh, where this bit of land fell away naturally. I haven't tried to build up a hill. I haven't flattened it. I've just built the tower down into the land as it existed. And, and that's what I tend to try and do. I let the landscape uh, dictate the build, not the build dictate the landscape. So let's uh, jump back into our survival world and uh, see about that mine shaft. OK, we're back. Um, while we were gone, I took the opportunity to move my stuff over from way over there, nearer to where we'll be working. And I've kind of dug out roughly where I want the entrance to be, which is where that granite is. I thought about floor level um, or water level, but you know, your mind's going to flood. And I'm going to try and keep that waterfall intact if I can. Uh, the outside's going to be very simple to begin with. Um, there's not an awful lot of point in making this terribly fancy. It is, after all, an industrial type area. Um, I will get up there eventually, I promise. I'm so good at this. OK, so we're going to start here and I want this to go up for five. And then we'll just bring it across nice and simple. And uh, hopefully it'll all work out quite nicely and just be, like I say, a good, simple three wide entrance ouch two three yes haha -ha, i've got it right that doesn't happen very often there we go let's have a look at that and um, like i said really simple getting over to this side may be more of an issue but with that extra bit of height we've got some options with a bridge that we can still get a boat underneath yeah i quite like that like i say simple and uh we can just dig in from there. Better light it up a little bit. Uh, let's just do that for now. Okay, so the next job is to dig all of this out. Uh, I'm going to go back a bit before I start heading down, just so that we've got a bit of space for chests and things. And I'm going to take it five wide to begin with, so that we've got somewhere to put some wall decorations. Right, so I'm going to get this dug out and uh, I'll be back when we've got some kind of idea of the mine shaft. Uh, OK, so here we are at level 12. Um, I know a lot of people like to mine at 11. I've always done it at 12 and old habits die hard. I'm going to be stubborn about it, so live with it. Um, we're all dug out, five wide. And I have done a little bit of resource gathering and preparation in between, but there's still a lot to do. So first things first, I think we need staircase because this is going to get boring very, very quickly. And then we'll think about what's going on the walls. I'm hoping to get something that's reasonably modular. Um, I'm not taking that out yet because there's water behind it. I made that mistake. <laughs> that was fun times. And also I'm going to need to get this bridge built because climbing up there every time is also getting a little bit annoying. So I'm thinking I will start, I'm cooking up some stone. I want to use some stone brick um, and probably some logs, although I don't have as many of those as I would like. Um, 
and I'm thinking I'll use cobble for the stairs. It's a mine, it doesn't have to look super pretty, um, so it can be a bit rough around the edges. I think we'll just get started now and uh, and then I'll do another cut once I've got some kind of idea of what I'm doing and then I'll just go around and fill it all in and come back and show you when we're done. So the first thing I want to do like I say is get a lot of these stairs put down. Um, ah, great start. <laughs> Let's just hope I've got enough pickaxe to last, otherwise I'm going to be in and out of that water again. <sighs> Stairs and me do not always get on. Um, so that's the general idea for the stairs. And then here, because I'm wanting to put some chests in, I'm thinking I might, uh, might do them in sort of gaps of three. See how that works. I didn't count it out beforehand. I probably should have, but uh, I'm sure we can make it work somehow. Ah, that's not too bad. Bit of space before we uh, start going down levels. So I'm going to leave that for now because, like I said, I want to have some chests in there and probably a furnace or two on that side. So if that's one, two, three. If we do it in three might be a bit narrow. Um, let's try it anyway. And then the same on the other side. And then really, I just want to keep it simple. Um, that's clearly not going to be enough logs at all. Um, Let's just do that for now. That's very flat, very, very flat. Um, we can fix that up in a bit and then do the same coming down there. I mean, I can always fancy it up more later when I've got more resources to work with, but I don't want this to be, you know, hideous while it's temporary. Um, how about doing that on each side? and maybe put one of those in the back oh that's better well that's at least some depth to the wall at least <sighs> um i'm really not sure about that uh have what if they come across is that going to be hmm it does at least match the entrance there, but it does drop down one as well. I could dig them in. I'm not sure I need to. Um, let's go sleep. The last thing I need before I've got a decent sword is an attack by a skeleton. I've had a few encounters, just made it away with my skin intact, and I'm in no hurry to repeat it. It was not uh, a fun time. They really are quite tricky. I mean, I've never been very good at fighting um, in Minecraft. I, I quite often, when I was first uh, starting off playing, I'd play with my kids a lot. And, uh, and I played on a machine that just had no power behind it at all. So I really, I, playing with mobs even switched on were, was problematic for, for lag reasons. Uh, the first machine I ever played Minecraft on was a 2009 laptop. Um, I, th I think I averaged uh, about uh, 10 FPS. That's, uh, that is very low. Ah, so now I've got myself stuck. No, nope, don't like that. That's gonna have to come back up one more. Whole lot, uh, okay. I'll sort this ceiling out and gather some wood and come back, I think. You don't need to watch all of this. Right, okay, so let's see what's been going on. I have been a little bit busy. I didn't just go get resources. I went and put them down as well. Um, 
it struck me that coming back and saying, look, I've got the wood, and then cutting again would have been a bit pointless. So a few changes here. I, I've put some stairs in just to give it a bit more texture on the sides. Um, and also the lighting. Uh, I wanted it really bright in here. I don't want any surprises at the bottom of the stairs. I've moved the ceiling back and I've put some half slabs in just to, uh, again, give us a bit of variation. Um, still not done much apart from change the floor in here. And then all the way down, we have the same pattern repeating. I'll come through, I think, uh, and put some like cracked ones in, maybe the odd uh, solid, like an ant polished andesite or something. Uh, just just to uh, give it a little bit of difference visually here and there, make it uh, not quite so uniform. Um, just like I've tried to do on the floor here with a few different kinds of blocks. Um, the stairs to look like missing bricks, that kind of thing. And then down here we'll just branch out each side, uh, leave a gap of two, and keep pushing this wall back as we need to. So I'll, I'll come up with some way of uh, sort of decorating around the edges of each uh, strip mine but it's unlikely that this will be uh, on film very often I suspect I'll mostly be mining off camera it's after all not the most fascinating thing to watch so this took longer than I hoped um, and it's not quite finished but uh, I think I'm going to call it done here for now and uh, next time we'll get this bridge built all there is really left to say is thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.